everybody, we are back with uh, round four of today's uh, Treasure Hunt 3. Right, so it will be a game between. Huh? Wait, forget my tournament. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by Brian. So. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it will be a game between Yoko and uh, Joel. Right, so uh, Yoko, a very seasoned player, just came back from the Australia uh, OCIC. Right, uh, Joel, a fairly new face here. Uh, I think first time seeing, seeing him here today. Right, so it will be a match between. Uh, no, it will be an interesting match between the two of them. Yeah, for sure. Joel definitely has some uh, not very meta picks. He does have Palafane, which is a very meta strong Pokemon pick. at the moment, but he also does have Sasarina. Kasarina, a Pokemon that we don't really see very often yeah. with the Queenly Majesty blocking priority moves. So it's basically Armor Tail, but from the Queen. Right? Yeah, I mean, so, it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty old Pokemon, so it'll be interesting to see how it fares up against today's meta. Where, uh, I mean, oh, he does have Felipe as well, so. I kind of see. Yeah, I kind of see the the the, the Palafin being able to punch a lot of holes in Yoko's defense if she's not careful. Yeah. Uh, on screen here we can see Joe's team uh, as I mentioned is the Palafin with the Pelipper alongside Iron Hands, Hatterin, Tasarina, and Mouso. Hatterin again, a uh, very uncommon sight nowadays. Right. Yeah. Like past generation mods that that uh, I guess Joel is showing that you know like you still can make old old mods work. You know, mm. in the in, even in such a such a fast paced meta. Oh, right. we'll see. So for Yoko wise, Yoko is doing a team of Master Main, Mouthful, Iron Morph, Iron Hands, Donbozo, and Tatsugiri. Yeah, I mean, I like to see Iron Morph. Again, it's not very common in the meta, but it is a paradox a paradox mod with a lot of utility, especially with the SC spray dropping special defense by two stages. Yes. Very useful for setting up your partner for KOs. Definitely, right? Mm. With the booster energy probably in speed, right? To be faster than the faster yeah. main. Let me take a move than the yeah. move set. To be faster to be faster than the faster main. Faster than yeah. the <laughs> faster main. Right? Plaster main. <laughs> okay, you do see Iron Hands mouse hold here. From Yoko, Yoko, yeah, and Iron Hands hattering <laughs> for Joel's side. Hmm. Right. So I guess a uh, fairly like both players might want to trade pick out with each other, there's a, a valid option here for both players here. Right. Where, but uh, Joel will probably want to start setting up his trick room first to facilitate his uh, the, the potentially uh, the slower mods which in itself is a Hatterin and a Iron Hands. I mean at this point <coughs> doesn't really matter. I guess stone because Iron Hands kinda is a speed tie. So Iron Hands is gonna switch out here. Right. Or Asarina. Yeah. Oh blocking the fake out here yeah, with the Queenly Majesty. Yeah. Ensuring <coughs> ensuring the, the trick room. Mouse hold will also not be able to go for Thorn if it has. Yeah. It doesn't have Thorn, yeah, it has Thunder Wave. Uh, yeah. It goes for the So it goes for a population bomb, opting for the kill, you know. Don't need to Thorn, don't need to do anything, just kill the mod outright. It does have white lens as well, so it's gonna be a 99% chance to hit all 10. Yeah. So very close there, will that be a miss? Oh 10 times wasn't enough. Hatterin survives and trick room goes ah, up here. Needs one more baby. <laughs> <laughs> trick room is set up here, so uh I guess it's not entirely bad for Yoko. She did manage to chip down the Hatterin to very low HP here. Yeah, right. And Tassarina is not really a Pokemon that operates well on the tree room, I feel. Yeah, Ta S Serena does have a, a pretty decent uh, middling speed range, right? Compared to what Yoko has, which is the Iron Hands, which is probably the second one that's going to move in the tree room. Yeah. I mean, imagine if Yoko had gone for attack with the, Iron, with the Iron Hands. I believe Hatterin would not be able to set up Trick Room. But it's again, hindsight, <coughs> the Queenly Majesty play saving the Trick Room. But at what cost though? Joel has Trick Room, but his Hatterin is almost at death's door. And Queen, Queenie and Tassarina, yeah, as, as, as seen, it's not going to operate well on the Trick Room. It's forced to switch out here. Yes, so Iron Hand <coughs> does come in here for Joel here. And I probably want to preserve the Sarina for later on. Mm. Yeah. So uh, Yoko here opting to uh, te Terra it's uh, her Hariyama to the grass type. Ah, uh, robot Hariyama. Yeah, robot. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the, the Iron Hands. My bad. Yeah, Iron Hands into uh, Terra grass to meet, uh, to take away the fighting type uh, weakness. Oh, Hatterin going for the protect here. Actually, looking at the item, I think Hatterin will kill itself with life life of recoil. Mm. So it's only good for one attack. Honestly, yeah. <coughs> protect here. Population bomb into the. The Iron Hand slot. I think a very good call by Yoko here, you know. Ah, uh, uh, look at the damage though. Yeah, it, uh, damage is damage. Right? Rather than, I mean, other than, yeah, Yoko only has Thunder Wave. So if she Thunder Wave that, that slot, you know, if Iron Hand will absorb it nicely. As yes. the other effect as in the electric type. Right? I mean, yeah. It's still healthy amount, Justin, about, about half. Yes, yes. <laughs> So uh, Joel here, a bit on the back foot here, uh, the trick, like, 
uh, wanting to set up the trick room. However, it caused a bit too much momentum for himself. As uh, now he's actually quite at the back foot. It's like even though he has a speed advantage, more of his mons are severely weakened. Yes, for sure. Uh, Hatterin will go down in one hit again <laughs> to itself. Yeah, at the iron hands, uh, took, it, took a pop bomb, not looking very healthy. <laughs> So mouse does protect here. Yeah, yeah I very... guess trying to protect against a potential drain punch. Yeah, or even a potential fake out. Right. Oh, but fake out goes into the opposing iron yeah. hands here. I think goes for mystical fire. It's gonna be super effective. Yeah, but very little because of the assault vest. I guess, I guess the play is still fine. Uh, iron hands did stop uh, the opposing iron hands from moving, and I guess he still has three more turns of. Um, Two more turns. Two more turns of trick room to play. Oh, Palafin is not something you want to see under trick room as well. Even more so that. Ah, mm. uh, oh no. If he's. Iron, yeah. uh, um, Alan, if yeah. the Palafin is the last two Pokemon, he can't switch out to activate oh, Hero Ball. Oh, you are right. That yes. is something he should, he should have brought Palafin here to switch it out to, 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 to Tassarina later yes. on. So, so yeah, actually Joel here really in a very bad position, right? Trick room, like, trick room doesn't make sense for his setup. Yeah, yeah this like, it, it feels like Joel might not have a very clear game plan going forward. Like probably wanting to sweep under trick room with Hariyama, uh, with uh, Iron Hands and uh, and Hatterin. But y Yoko call it perfectly and, and severely damage the Hatterin before it can do real damage. Okay, he's bringing in the Palafin now, but it's going to be not in his hero form yet. It's going to be vulnerable. Uh, it feels, also, it's going to switch yeah. out here. Okay. It feels a bit late also because uh, with the Iron Hands uh, being that. In fact, if Yoko picks up a KO here, right, he can't even switch to Hero Form at all. So it's a very big risk he's playing around with. And even more so, this is signaling to Yoko that the next turn is going to be very defensive also because Palafini is going to switch out. Yes. <laughs> that was a. Dream Punch. Yeah. Yeah, Dream Punch into Palafin. Palafin uh, taking half HP from here. Like, High jump kick. Mm. <coughs> Uh, calling that and switching up into the Iron Morph that resists, resists the high jump kick. Yeah, not many options here for the Tassarina to go. I mean, high jump kick is a good option into Iron Hands, but I feel it will not do enough damage. And Palafin has to switch out here, otherwise, it's never going to activate its hero form. Yeah. So, last turn of Trick Room here for Joel really didn't accomplish anything at all in these uh, four turns of Trick Room here. Yeah, it almost wonder, makes me wonder why he even brought Hattery in for the first place. I mean, he could have not gone for the trick room and just gone for an all out attack. But we do see Tassarina protecting itself, hoping to stall out his own trick room turns. Thunder punch into the opposing. But that was the Palafin slot, yeah. So that was a good, good switch in here. Yoko not even going for Ice Spray, going for Heat Wave to ensure some damage is dealt. Ah, Joe's Iron Hands dropping lower and lower, and trick room runs out. And it's not exactly a good position as well. Now Yoko's Iron Morph is pretty the fast. On the mm. So judging from the heat wave there, it might be a roll to pick off her, her, uh, Iron Hands from here. Yeah. So, so even from here, even if uh, Joel, Joel Hariyama survive, he still has to win the speed tie in order to get off a Dream Punch. Do you see a helping hand here? <laughs> Iron Morph will move first. Oh no, it's gonna be fake out. Helping hand fake out. Wow. That's a lot of damage. That's a it's good chip. It's good chip. But that's that's the end of Hariyama. Uh, end of uh, Iron Hands here. Robot Hariyama. Robot Hariyama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Palafin will come in here, hero form, thankfully. So, but about time. <laughs> yeah, but Geo is down to his last two Pokemon here. Yoko looking pretty, pretty safe with the Iron Hands. I believe he's kind of healed up to full as well. I'm not sure he yeah. even took any damage. Uh, it's close to full. He did take uh, damage from Mystical Fire. Yeah. But right now, it really healed, healed back to close to full. Yeah, Palafin took a hit earlier as well. So it's not it's below yeah. half. Yeah. Slightly below half. Yeah. It seems a bit too late for Joel to do anything here. As the Palafin doesn't have any... Yeah. any uh, he does have Ice Punch. But I believe Hariyama... Har uh, Hariyama. Sorry. Yeah, My, robot Hariyama. Yeah, robot Hariyama. <laughs> yeah, iron Hands, iron hands are, can, can come... Comfortably thick, uh, having ice an ice punch, punch honestly. Yeah, yeah. again, the, the grass terra typing so useful here. We do see helping hand. So is it gonna be the is it gonna be the ice punch? We do see Iron Moth go for a substitute here. Oh if if Joel went for a wave crash into that slot, it's gonna be it's gonna be very bad. We do see ice punch into Hariyama, yeah, not quite enough to take it off. Comfortably, right? So Thunder Punch does go into Palapin here, clearly picking off the knockout. Yeah. So Joel if, if, if really, his head here a bit, yeah. yeah. I think really Joel. I think perhaps Joel wanted to set up the trick room mode because uh, looking at Yoko's team is actually quite fast. Uh, with a uh, platter main, mm. iron morph, uh, even again, mouse. Mouse is quick. The trick room at what cost? Yes. Trick room at what cost? And it doesn't achieve much because the Hattery actually doesn't hit as hard as 
as you want not it only to. that but you can't you, I mean he is forced to stall out his own three own turns and that's never a good sign for any player yes <coughs> I mean sure you 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 outspeed things like Iron Moth but but so what you can't really and accomplish cost, anything yeah. under Trick Room and, yeah. and looking from the team sheet <coughs> uh, had, had the moves that Hatterin have Iron Moth resist all of them right even with Iron right, Hands yes. that uh, even with Iron Hand also resist the Dream Punch that it carries yeah. So honestly, looking from here, the Trick Room mode might not be the best optimal choice for Drow here. Yeah, we do see Yoko closing out the game here. The uh, Iron Moth wave. Iron Moth no simp for <laughs> Queen. Yeah, robots have no feelings. Yeah, robot has no feelings. <laughs> yeah, robot has no soul. Right. So actually, go going forward, right? Maybe Joel Joel can opt for the for the Rim mode. Yeah, Pelipper Palafin is honestly a very solid combination. Uh, sure, sure, they might be resist on uh, Yoko's side. Does she have resist? Water resist on? Only Dondozo. Yeah, it will be her Dondozo mode that will resist uh, Joel's uh, rain mode. So maybe that's something Yoko can predict going forward and do it. You know? like, oh, I predict uh, Joel's uh, rain, rain, uh, rain setup. Uh, Dondozo actually, actually hard stops. Actually, Joel doesn't really have a strong option against Dondozo actually. Yeah, he, the only strong option I guess is Iron Hands. But the Terra type. Yeah, Iron Hands is a sort of best variant though. Yeah. I mean, okay, sure, it's fine, but I, I think Dondozo will still come out ahead. Especially Yoko, Dondozo is a dragon, dragon type Dondozo. So, even like Joel's strongest step, uh, which is Wild Charge, doesn't hit hard enough. Yeah, I mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, uh, jo Joel, yeah, Joel really has to consider here. You know, well, do you want to predict what Yoko will be doing? Even and you know, this is why I like pop pop population pop, pop. form of mouse. So so useful. I mean, uh, sure, you might not get a Oko on some things, but it's close to that. Very, it's very yeah. good damage. Yeah, even without the technician, right? even without technician, with Frank guard, Frank guard population bomb still hits. Oh, well, imagine hard. if you had damnation, you've yeah. done more you, to the hard iron killed, hands. Catherine, uh, alright. Yeah. Oh, but you know, looking at that game, I guess Juhel might have benefited if Trick Room never went up. <laughs> just, just, just a thought. Yeah, just, just attacking. Alright, oh, right. I mean, it's hard to say because, like you pointed out, there are mods that are faster, yeah. so Trick Room is beneficial. But again, I think it's a very safe uh, play for you here because I like I, Iron Hands itself is just a, such a solid mod. Yeah. Right. Flutter main here and Mouse Hold here. And Pelipper Palafin. Yeah, I see okay. the rain will come already, right? Oh, if my tree room don't work, I bring in the rain. A bit oh. early for Palafin to start sweeping though, it kinda has to switch out. To yeah, it, it does have to enable the trick uh, the hero mode first. Yeah, and, and I and I think Yoko is gonna capitalize on this by you know going killing the partner slot. Yeah, yeah killing the palafin slot. Pop bomb is enough. So breakthrough doesn't the Pelipper doesn't even have sash, it's damn rock. So you can expect so eight, eight turns, turns of, of rain. Turns of rain. Yeah, Palafin is gonna switch out here. So I, uh, I, I, for Yoko as a senior player, I think she will probably just break into that slot and just double target into, into the switching, which is uh, Sarina here. Oh, we'll right. see. But I'm going go for white guy. Right. Okay, so, so blocking dazzling gleam. Dazzling gleam. Mm. Right. But what does a uh, mouse do? Does mouse? Oh, 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 catches the dazzling gleam. Dazzling very good. Very good. Right. So very Yoko, uh, you know, wanting to cover all her bases, uh, going for the dazzling gleam. Here. So actually, Joel, Joel coming up uh, with the predict. We we'll have to uh, see. So pop bomb now come in. Judging from damage, probably won't kill the Pelipper, but severely damaging. Yeah. Oh, that, that means that Hatterin was more offensively geared then, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Right? I mean, Hatterin's bug is not, not really the best in the world, So yeah. Pelipper taking it uh, quite comfortably here with, uh, with still with yellow health. See, does he go for high jump kick though? If the mouse also protects, it's, it's always yeah, risky. Yeah, then you break a knee. Oh no. Yeah. Right. I mean, power whip into the... I mean, all his moves uh, have a chance of missing, but power whip into the Flutterman is not a oh, bad yeah. choice. Yeah, Flutterman has yeah. quite terrible de physical defense. Yeah. See, at this point, yeah, Joel making the right call. Yeah. Yeah. he knows he's probably not going to stay for long. So and he gets just a free switch. Yeah. yeah, he gets a free switch into the Palafin after, after yes. going down. Pelipper will be the first Pokemon to knock out here. To be knocked out here. Yep. And pop bomb into Tassarina. Yeah, it's not enough to kill. Survive. So a power whip going into the bottom main here. Yeah, actually. you're right. The, the, the mouse hold, not Frank guys, so not a lot of damage. Yeah. So actually, if you, to me, I feel, I like, I like seeing pop bomb kill things. Right? So honestly, if it was technician, you'll be getting more clean. Yeah. Power whip doesn't miss here. Oh and brings Buttermane down, down to his sash. So much for Frank Gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> that's the terrible physical defense at play, right? So yeah. Joel here, 
uh, choosing to switch in the power game, right? It's time to hero, right? Time to save the world, time to save the game. Time to jet punch yeah, the Time to jet punch the mouse <laughs> or the Flutter Man, right? Yeah. Uh, he has to be worried about Flutter Man. Flutter Man is still very threatening with his uh, Dazzling Gleam. Um, the, the, I guess that's the thing, you know, it's like... Now he has to be careful. will take, a, take, take damage either way, right? It's either from the Flutter Man or from, from mouse. Yeah, uh, yeah. And mouse can protect also. I guess I guess Mouse is probably gonna follow me away. So does he go into jet punch to try to you know predict that he doesn't go for follow me or does he go for wave crash? Yeah. So it's really like a 50 50 yeah. call here. Yes, for sure. And again, Desmond Green, I think it's a pretty safe play for Platamin here. He's definitely gonna go for the Terra Water. He wants as much damage, damage as possible. As he get. Uh, it's a bit overkill since it's in the rain, but eh, we, we are not complaining here. Yeah. Uh, so, so Joel with uh, still many turns of rain left, uh, six turns if I'm not wrong, right? Yes. Sarina goes for the protect, protect. okay. Yeah. So hoping to... So what does Joel, Joel call? Right. Jet punch. punch, oh no follow me! Which one? He gets in, is he into Flutter Me? He's into, into no. the mouse, that's okay. If if Yoko goes for, goes for the Dazzling Gleam here, one thing to pick off the Sarina also, he will not take as much damage. Oh, oh but it's Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball and into oh, the Sarina, the Sarina mm. instead. So Yoko not respecting the Palafin here actually. <laughs> well... I guess honestly though, it's like Palafin clearly was the threat, threat here. But perhaps uh, Yoko had something what, like the Terra Grass Haryama. What do you call in the industry? Was that a level three prediction? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. This. I don't know that term. But okay, we do see <laughs> Iron Hands come out. Right. Importantly though, Queenly Majesty is still, uh, still on the field. So no fake so, out. Yeah. Very true. Very true. So much for robots yeah. having no feeling. Uh, so well. <laughs> But honestly, like, Joel here considering Ice Punch, but Justin, do, I, I feel that Wave Crash actually does more. Nah, I think you pick out the tail on Watermain, right? Well, you will take a while, you will take a while charge. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think... I think Hariyama, uh, uh, Robot Hariyama, Hariyama is still the, the more threatening thing. I think thing you here. Wave Crash. You have the Wave Crash, right? you have to bet. You have to bet. Yeah, you are Rain, Terra, Water, Mystic, Water. You are so watery. Yeah, all the liquids <laughs> so are in your favor. Yeah, all the liquids are in your yeah, favor. Yeah, drown the plant. Yeah, drown, drown the, the plant, plan, yeah. And I guess he could even follow it up with, uh, with, with his Tassarina. I guess Tassarina, Tassarina is helping handing, helping handing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you see, yeah, we're gonna drown the, <laughs> drown the flower. Let's go, man. Have you heard of overwatering your plants? Iron Hands, okay, he knows Iron Hands is a soft vest, so will not be able to protect. Yeah. So, does he go for the very many play yeah. of Okay, we do but see it helping play. I think he's going for that play. I think it was Ice Punch though. I think from what I saw, it was Ice Punch. Oh no. We'll see. Okay, Shadow, Shadow Ball is going to pick up the, the Serena. Mm. Okay. So, Yoko wanting to get rid of the Queenly Magister. So what like, does the hero go for here? What does the hero? Oh! Is he, is he going for a hero play? Oh, Ice he Punch! Goes for the not very hero play. That's oh. not a lot of damage. Yeah. Only villains do this. Yeah, only villains. I, <laughs> I, I, I would think actually Wave Crash might have killed, killed them with the, the way higher base power of 120. Yes, even though that's the boosted resist. by Mystic Water. Yeah, Mystic Water in the rain, there are water handle. and helping handle. Oh, yes. Oh, but at least there's still a way out here, which is uh, the pick out to score one turn. Uh, yeah, I guess he needs yeah. to jet punch the the, the Flutter Main though. Because yeah. Flutter Main is faster than Palafin. Yeah. yeah Yoko yeah, could yeah, protect that to... as well though. Yeah, Yoko does have protect. Yeah, does have protect. Oh, yeah. I mean, does he want to trade the turn? I think he could jet punch the Iron Hands, honestly. I'm not manly enough. I don't think that's... Because if Yoko goes if Yoko goes for the attack here, well, you will lose Marfin outright. Oh, Flutterman is going for the protect. I mean, the safe play is to go for jet punch into... Yeah, jet punch the Flutterman and pick out the opposing Iron Hands. Yeah. That's fine, but now what, what? What is the play? Mm. Does Yoko switch out the the flutter main? It's so useful with this uh, speed, speed though. Right? And yeah. she, I guess she kind of wants to preserve it because yeah, and her, because uh, Joel's iron hands is still weak to parry. Yes, yeah, correct. Will we'll not be able to tear out of that. Yeah. So so yeah. Actually yeah, I think this turn is still not as bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Malafin going for protect. protect here. Okay. His so, his iron hands is staying in here, going for the dazzling game. I think should not be. Too much damage. Yeah. He does have a soul vest. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, still nice. quite, quite a bit. Wow, that's like a pop bomb damage actually. That's fine. Right. Thunder punch crucially goes into protect here. Yeah. But does uh, whatever Joel does kill the the opposing iron hands? Yeah. No oh, heavy slam. He goes for heavy slam instead. That's fine. That's fine. Based on the damage, I think Palafin will be able to close out the game against rain, opposing iron hands. Two turns of rain. Right? Mm. So Palafin probably will, will get one more turn to do. Too big damage before going down here. Oh, Iron Moth does, does not down. like to see Palafin. Oh, right. It's, it's another call again, Justin. It's really another call again because the, this Iron Moth has protect too. Um, 
again I guess if his own hand if his own iron hands is faster than (err) #yoko's# iron hands I think it's enough to pick up the K_O and 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 #yoko's# iron hands is really not very healthy but it will be a two V one [oh] he might be he might be going for a jab punch here ya probably a jab punch into the the iron maw (ppc) probably a jab punch into the iron maw here (mm) #yoko# still has one more pokemon at the back !huh! I believe it's the no she doesn't did the mouse die the mouse died right the mouse has not. Oh, we do okay, we, we do see jet punch. No protect coming out from the iron moth. It's going to the iron hands. Okay. Nice clean KO, but free the iron moth is free to go for I guess an acid spray. Heat wave is not gonna be very useful. Will be enough. And he's yeah. in the rain. He's in, in the, the rain. rain. So yes, she's different. going for acid spray. Yeah, acid spray does come out here. Neutral damage on the Palapin. Oh, Palapin survives. Not oh. quite. Is it gonna be oh no, Just no poison, like, yeah. No, special no, no, defense no, drop. Special defense drop. <laughs> and we do so see a wall charge. Coming out here. Woo! Big damage. Yeah, iron moth defense also not very good. Oh yeah, Yoko is down to a last mouse. Yeah, last mouse. Yeah. yeah, so mouse actually passed away with it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Yeah. Okay. What? Wow. Joanna really clutching it here with with uh, the hero here. Right. The hero really really saved the day. I mean, we 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 just wanted to see the wave crash resistant KO into our hands. But definitely, definitely but okay. how it played out was fine for Joel. He would. Uh, I mean. Actually, in on hindsight, Justin, perhaps the ice punch was the better play because. Uh, wave, wave crash will be required and yeah, the acid spray might have been enough. But if but if he killed the iron hands, he won't he won't he won't take, take the, the thunder, thunder punch. punch. Yeah. So it, I guess it kinda evens out. Yeah. I would pay I would think would he would take recoil, less recoil. Will the recoil be as much as the thunder punch? Uh, iron, hands is, iron hands is very thick. Yes, yes, he is quite fat, but right. well speculation aside, Palafin definitely the MVP. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, truly the hero. Truly the <laughs> yes. hero. Now with Joel proving that you no know, rain mode is doing way better than than its uh, trick room trick room mode, right? Yoko might really adjust back to the Dondozo mode. Right? Yes. But honestly, looking at what Joel has, really nothing much can do to Dondozo except the super fang of mouse. Yeah, and it's it's really a lot of things that has to happen for Joel in order to beat a Dondozo. Like for example, Hurricane confused the Dondozo. Oh, that's, that's not reliable yeah. at all. And I guess even, okay, does, does, the, does Yoko's Dondozo have wave crash? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so it does. Rain, 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 Rain Pelipper yeah. will just do wave, wave crash damage wave as well. So, yeah. so going off this, yeah, Yo, if Yoko adjusts correctly, Yoko does have the better matchup against jo- Joel. Tasarina, I guess, sort of pseudo counters Dondozo. But it, if it terras in the dragon, it will resist. The, yeah. the power so it's, it's very tricky. I mean, we'll have to see if Yoko decides to go for the Dondozo here. Right. It's okay. gonna be so it's Fluttermane, Mouse, Fluttermane and Mouse, right, with Caliper and, and Dolphin. Yeah, so same leads. Right. Yeah. So, so going by this, perhaps Yoko, Yoko wouldn't go for the Dazzling Gleam again this no, time. No, I think Yoko is going to punish the Palafin switch up. Yeah, because she's going to pop bomb whatever comes in. And Shadow Ball, gonna be, that, or Moonblast that stop, yeah. which is a Serena here. Right. Honestly, yeah, as, as shown from the previous game, the Queenly Majesty, Queenly Majesty does put a lot of work denying the fake up yes. from her Iron Hand. I, I don't know if it's the right play to double into the Palafin slot, honestly, because mm. you let Pelipper set up Tailwind. And that crucially takes away the advantage that Yoko has enjoyed for the past two mm. matches, which is mm. outspeeding the opponent. That's yeah. We do see Tasarina come in. Pelipper actually going for Protect here, so no, no Tailwind. tailwind. Right. Okay. Very, very, safe, very safe play this time. Right. So, oh, Yoko does go for the Shadow Ball here, probably really into double targeting into the, the switches. Yeah, Tasarina is gonna take, take a hit. And no, Pop Bomb. Uh, okay, uh, she's, she's spread out, uh, diversify. diversify. <laughs> is so, that financial advice? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Okay. So, so actually Yoko here still pretty safe to go for the for the tailwind. Pretty wasted though. She could he could have gone for tailwind. Pop bomb we saw would not be able to KO Felipe. Now, uh, now he's also kind of incentivized to press um, white guard. Perhaps to stop dazzling gleam, but at the same time, I think Yoko respect respect that the fact, yeah. the fact that Felipe has the white guard. Right? Oh, sorry, protect. Protect okay. Here. Is Pelipper going for? It should be going for. Oh, he really, he really went for the beam. Yeah, so, it's so it tells me that Pelipper is really, I think, press tailwind here. There's a lot of damage. Oh, I, yeah, think I think the pop, pop will kill. Oh no! Yeah, the pop will kill. Unless the pop miss. Haha, <laughs> it's a one percent right? chance to miss. Ah, <laughs> uh-huh. 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 oh, oh, he missed. missed. <laughs> so wow, Joel really got that one percent. Justin Hurricane goes into the bottom end here. Oh, but. No but confusion. If only, <laughs> but if only she like if only he tail win instead. Yes. Uh, if only he tail win instead. Ah, uh, as we call as we, as we say in the industry, unlucky. Unlucky. Ah, it's the one percent. I mean, it's still not so bad for Yoko. Um, yeah. she's sort of stalling out rain turns and 
she's prime in prime position to pick up two KOs here. You see white gun here yeah. trying to stop a double uh, KO yeah. from Clean. Uh, but you kind of have to but, wonder, yeah. yeah. But Yoko does call it uh, and goes for the shadow ball instead. This turn. Yeah, so um, Joy is gonna really his Palafi is really gonna have to do a lot of work to catch him back up in this game. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So pop bomb doesn't miss this time. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's guaranteed one hit, right? <laughs> one hit. I think the first hit can miss also. No, are you I serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So Palafin does. Uh, Palafin Iron Hand does come in here. It does give the pick up pressure onto the mouse, but Yoko can really just go up for the double protect. Yes. So to get a very safe. Thing. Honestly, Yoko can start trading mons for damage onto the field. Mm, Iron, Iron Hands is uh okay. I mean, you kind of feel he's gonna Terra water his Palafin again, right? No, definitely. Right. Oh, the Terra here for yeah. grass. Grass. Yeah, you yeah you up for more damage, honestly. Mm. I, I guess I get. What do you think is more threatening here, though? I think you go for the Mouse KO, right? Uh, well, both no, Pokemon can protect, so it's really. Ah, I guess you can pick out the Mouse and, yeah, and jet punch, punch the, into the main. The main. Because the main the main stash is broken, mm. so mm. so main main can't really take uh, uh, a jet punch anymore. Mm. But Yoko can switch. Perhaps the Dombos. Nah, doesn't doesn't. No switches here. It's going for the Terra Water. Yep. So probably the yeah, Palapin Terra Water. Terra Water here. Crucially though, if Yoko has Iron Hands at the back as well, yeah, uh, Joel doesn't have any really Majesty to protect him from big cards. I guess he can protect one turn. Yeah, but but oh, Palapin protected. Did right. Mouse protect as well? Probably. Also oh, protect. Yeah, okay. Very safe double protect here. From Yoko, stalling out the rain and stall, uh, and uh, risking the pick up yeah. that uh, Joel has. So Jet Punch into Flutterman. So Joel didn't even opt for the pick up, just opt for damage. Mm. Yeah, wall charge here. Into the Mouse Hole slot. Yep. Honestly, which is more threatening here? Mouse Hole or Flutterman? I would say Flutterman. Mm. Honestly, like looking from the, the team sheet here. Uh, Palafin does have higher physical defense. Okay. Yeah. 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 You go for the flutter main kill. Play, and then pop bomb can miss. You know what? If you hit one time Yoko and miss, kind of. I guess. Hmm. Depending on what the two Yoko has at the back, I think Yoko still Yoko has very comfortable. Follow position. me, right, on the mouse hole. Yeah, she does. That's I guess an option to ensure that you know the main survives. Yes. But honestly, I feel main already done done his job. Right? So honestly, it's really what Joel wants to achieve. Main is still really good against Iron Hands though, with the super effective. Oh, oh Joel goes for the protect play here instead. Okay, interesting. Right, so Glim does come out here, chipping the Iron Hands uh, pretty nicely. Yeah, Assault Vest, definitely very useful here, but Claw is definitely tipping on, taking on Joel's side. He has to pick up KOs quickly. We'll see Pop Bomb into just, the hero. Just from the protect alone, really Joel lost, lost quite a bit of I'm not sure, we'll see what Iron Hands goes for. Iron Hands goes for AV Slam. We'll be able to pick up the KO on Flutterbeam. Yeah, even through the friend guard here. Yeah. So that's fine, that's fine. Um, not, yeah, it's not the worst case position here, but it does give Yoko a good picture. She's gonna be very, has to be very concerned about this Iron Hands though. Yeah. Now Paraffin has protected as well. I think we have another chance. Oh, wave crush! <laughs> another chance. Wave I don't think it will happen. Because uh, he's going to get take one pick up first. Yes. <laughs> Unless he goes for another protect. Ah, he's going for the Terra Grass here. Yeah. yeah. I guess if if Joel can KO Yoko's Iron Hands, then his own hands should be able to 1v1 the uh, mouse hole. Yeah, but uh, Yoko still has one more than the back. Mouse hole is going to protect here, so that means Yoko is not going for a pick out, right? Probably not, right? Yeah, so Wave Crash! Oh, oh. Mainly meant his oh, yeah, mainly we saw meant. the animation. He's going for Mystic Water, okay, Rain Booster. Is enough? Ah, yeah, okay, no. so actually I first came for. Yes. Uh, but then again, that was it with helping hand. Ah, that is true. Thunder Punch into Pala. Oh, Red Clutch, only hero does that. <laughs> yeah, only a hero was a. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, Iron Hands going into the Mouse Protect here. Okay, mm. I think right okay, right now, I I guess it's still okay. In a, in a, okay, it's just more of a. How do you deal with the Iron Hands at the moment at the back? We don't know what the mon at the back is. If it's uh, if it's iron hands is if it's iron morph, sorry. Uh, then iron hands wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah then you kind of want to have pala pin take iron morph out. Yeah. But I, mm, it's really difficult because iron morph can have so many options to stall out. Right. Sub substitute Sub as protect. Right. And then going for protect here. One HP also. Yeah. So right, pop bomb does come here. Will yeah. it be enough for Hariyama? Is it Yoko shaking her head, praying that you'll hit ten times and not seven? I mean, it's fine. At this HP range, I think her own hand, iron hands will be able to clean up very easily. Oh, it's a crit no, yeah. to make up for the miss earlier. Yeah. Again, I guess the miss kind of. Mm. Okay. Oh, Yoko just called the protect and goes for, her, goes for the 
the Iron Hands yeah. instead, yeah, sealing up, sealing up the game. All of it at 1 HP. Yeah. It's a dark day. In the dark day. <laughs> for, for our hero. That's why it's raining, right? Yeah. <laughs> the, the heavens are crying. <laughs> for, for our hero has fallen. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't think it matters so much that the wave crash uh, recoil damage was there. Yeah. At least, uh, because the, uh, a second Thunder Punch would have picked, picked up the power. Yeah. yeah. Home. Ice Punch, not yeah, enough. not enough. Actually, the Helping Hand really quite significant. Yes, the Queen, <laughs> crucially the Queen yeah. fell. Every, behind, every, every strong one. man, <laughs> uh, every, behind every strong dolphin, there's a strong, strong woman, there's a strong mangosteen. Uh, so, mangosteen. So, yeah, uh, pitch, pitch it, yeah, pitch it, we, we, we pitch, we pitch it, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> crucially, if, 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 sorry, no. Around, I think Joel could have yeah. kind of repeated the magic of game two. Unfortunately, uh, Yoko did focus down the queen, mm. and so we'll be able to take game three here. Yeah. So, so actually, Yoko in the end never really Bro, opting out, she, uh, right. opting for the Dondozo play. Actually, so it's like perhaps yeah. she was still very comfortable with the four. Did you charge and she, up? Mm. Yeah, she brought, she like, brought into the, the game. But I. Yeah. But yes. So actually, for Joel, Joel really the matchup against it, it was an uphill battle all along in, in both uh, both, I mean, both yeah. all three games. Actually, we saw game one, Tetherin was not really the the, the, the right the, the right game, game plan. plan. Yeah, the right game plan. Yeah, population bomb just punished it too heavily. Yeah. But in future adjustments, we saw population bomb was not very. I mean, it was still yeah. did decent damage, but it wasn't very impactful. But he always had to be worried about potential uh, follow me away into the mouse slot. Yeah, I mean Iron Hands for, for, for Joel was so good though. Yeah, definitely. I, 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 I kind of feel that um, Palafin definitely was MVP, but Iron Hands also did a lot of work on Joel's side. Yeah, definitely, right. So, so I, I guess in the end, really, Yoko really played well, you know, uh, saving the Grass Terra Iron Hands all the way back to deal with uh, Palafin. Yes, yes. Butterman also pretty pretty useful to punish uh, yeah. the, the. Yeah, with spread moves to pressure Joel into, oh, am I gonna gleam or are you gonna white guard? You know, yeah. it's all the mind games. I mean, I mean also. Um, we did see Joel um, lean towards, uh, did see him tear out water twice the Palafin. So, Fluttermane is a pretty good choice to you know hit the Iron Hand super effective. I know he has the Assault Vest, but we saw it do so much damage even through the Assault Vest with Death Dingle alone. Imagine if you gone for Moon Blast. I think it's definitely easily a 2-hit KO. Yeah, I think ultimately it came down, Yoko's team was just faster. Alright. Yeah. Because even though you have priority, but you, have, you are still going to take damage in a way. Yeah. Because the move of Yoko's mod are still faster than whatever you have. Yeah. Uh, whatever the, your partner is. Okay, so I mean, congrats to Yoko for, for winning this set. And uh, we'll be moving on to round 5. See you soon. Behind every strong man is a man.